Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another gear review. There, there's something about sodas and bottles that's just never, it's never as good as the cans or like those fountain drinks. Is it just me? Today, I'm here to talk about something kind of different from the normal gear reviews that we do on this channel. And it's actually something kind of cool that benefits me as a broadcaster, as a gamer, as a content creator, as an editor, all these different things. I'm talking about my desk. Now, I know as you saw me come in here, this desk was kind of rising up, right? That's right, I got a standing desk here, and it's coming in from a company called Apex Desk. Now, I'm not a huge person to like try to sell things to you guys, but like, this thing is cool. Spoiler alert, I'm not sponsored to say any of this stuff. I, I try to give you guys reviews of gear that I, I'm just being asked to review it. If something's bad, I'll let you know. Now listen, I've always wanted a standing desk, man. I've always wanted to sit here and, and be able to raise and lower my desk at will while I'm gaming or streaming or anything like that. So this is actually pretty freaking cool and it's pretty freaking affordable. And you know, it's going for about $650. Now I know that may sound scary, but for what you're getting, this thing is freaking awesome. The claim to fame about this desk right now, you got this nice curved bezel in the front here, as well as this desk is actually made out of bamboo. So this desk is actually kind of like this rich, uh, kind of tannish brown color, and it's pretty pleasing to the eye. This texture feels great. I'm actually able to use my mouse on this desk as it is. I don't really need a mouse pad. However, you know, I always recommend a mouse pad. You gotta, you know, if you're a gamer or whatever, use a mouse pad, but I don't think you actually need it. This desk is actually going about 60 inches long, but it comes in a 71 inch if, if you need more space. I, I love space, but 60 inches is just enough for me, so I'm quite happy. Now, in the middle, you got that little curve, so actually going from the curve to the back of the desk, 23 inches, but uh, to the closest point, to the furthest point, you got 27 inches of, uh, of clearance there in the depth. So keep that in mind if, uh, if that's gonna fit your space. Hey, there you go. On top of sending me this desk, they actually sent me some neat stuff. And I'm talking, they sent me some casters so I can actually roll this thing around whenever I want. I can actually take this desk and roll it into the other room, but I'm kind of tethered by cables. And again, I'll get to that in a minute. Now on top of the casters that they sent me, they actually sent me a little uh, a little swivel tray. I think it, r it runs for like 33 bucks, but they, you know, it goes on sale right now for like 25 bucks. So it's pretty nice, man. It goes 360 degrees and you can put whatever you want in there. Your keys, you know, paper clips, pens, your phone, your, your Xbox or PS4 controller or PS5 controller if you're lucky enough to have one and you know, whatever else you might need. On top of the swivel drawer and the casters, they actually sent me something else too. And it's something to keep me, uh, comfortable while I'm standing here. They actually sent me this nice, uh, this nice pad here that I can actually step on and it's mighty nice on my feet uh, for me to go ahead and just pop this on the ground and go ahead and stand on it for all day while I'm streaming, creating content or whatever I need. And it's really nice on the feet to be able to, you know, have something to stand on. So I recommend if you guys ever get a standing desk or anything like that, get yourself a pad to stand on. Trust me, they even got their uh, they even got their logo on the bottom. That's kind of nice. All in all, they sent me over all this stuff to kind of play with and it's so freaking cool, man. I basically feel like I'm totally decked out here. So shout out to Apex Desk for sending me over this beautiful review package uh, that I get to keep and and I'm and just live with. And it's just so nice and the bamboo and I, ooh, so sweet. All right, now hear me out. I had to build this thing. It came in like five different boxes here because I got the I got the tabletop, the casters, the, the desk, the, the drawer, the pad to stand on. I got all this stuff, man. So let me tell you how hard it was to set this up. It wasn't. It wasn't hard at all, man. Like out of the box, this thing came up and it was just this folded piece of metal. You unfold the legs, you screw in the bottoms, then you take that whole base, that nice U shape, and then you screw on the bamboo top. It's so easy. And when I say screw in, you don't have to use any power drill or anything like that, uh, except you do have to mount the little control unit, which I did actually need to sit there with a uh, electric screwdriver. You could do it with the screw, like regular screwdriver. You don't need an electric screwdriver. I just wanted it done fast, so. I did it. If you're kind of OCD like me, man, I, I needed to run these cables perfectly while I was setting it up. So I actually had to take it apart, put it back together, and I was trying to run cables like as perfectly as I could. It, all in all, it took me about 25, 30 minutes to do it. But honestly, if you needed this thing up, you could probably get up in about 15 minutes. I kid you not, it is not that hard. And I did it by myself. I didn't have, like my wife was there, but I didn't use her. I didn't, I you know, I had to do what I had to do. The cool part is this thing can actually support 200 and 35 pounds. So, you know, for me, I need all the weight that I can get because, you know, I got three monitors, a giant curved monitor. Uh, you know, I got myself two keyboards, two mice. Wait, I got the Go XLR. I got my camera set up here. I got my microphone. And now on top of that, I'm going to try to take my, my PCs and mount them to the underside of my desk. Now, I haven't gotten that far, but I feel like it's kind of a must 
when you got a standing desk like this, especially with casters on it. So speaking of these casters, they've actually, they were super nice at rolling around on carpet and on hardwood floor. So it, no matter what you're rolling on, you're gonna be fine. One other nice little thing is it actually came with these little cable covers in a sense where, uh, you know, you got the holes on the top of your desk where your cables run through. And this was actually something kind of different I've never seen before. Usually it's just kind of a piece of plastic and that's it. But this actually had this little, little brushy bristles and whatnot on here. And now it just kind of makes it nice for the cables to go through. And it was just kind of eh, nice and new and different. It was just something that, you know, you're not just seeing down this hole. Now it's just a little, it's the, it's the small details that, that go all the way for me. Now, when it comes to complaints about this thing, the biggest thing that you're gonna notice when you have a standing desk of any kind is cable management. It's gonna be a pain and, and I should know, man. I, I love when cables are all neat and tidy and I was trying to use these cable covers and whatnot to make this all nice, but you got so many different cables running down from your desk down to the ground and they're coming out of all these different directions and you got to power some and you got to plug some USBs in. You got to put this in there and that in there and this in there and that in there. And it's just insane and I hate it so much. But I did what I could for the time being because my PCs are actually on my ground right now. They're just sitting on my floor because I'm waiting for shipping from Amazon to get me some, you know, desk mounts, which I'll, I'll do another little review for. I'll update this video as soon as I can. For the time being, I'm stuck with these cables kind of draped behind my desk and I don't want to tidy them up too much because I know how much I'm going to put in work to make this all nice once those PC, uh, you know, mounts get here. And for those, I will be drilling into my own desk. So wish me luck that I don't somehow crack my desk. I'll, I'll probably have to drill holes and then do screws on top of that. I, I, want, I want to keep this thing. I want to make it last. So wish me luck. Now, for the bad things, let me tell you the one big, my biggest gripe about this desk. Now, visually, this desk has a bezel going all the way around the edge, which is nice. However, this bezel blocks a lot of different clamps that you may have from uh, your microphone to your headphone. Uh, maybe you got a little headphone hook or, or maybe your, uh, your vest mount monitors on arms and stuff. Now, these clamps, for the most part, worked. I only had one clamp that wouldn't really fit and that's my microphone clamp here. On the back side of my desk, I had to go ahead and tighten down a clamp so I could stick my Rode arm, my PSA one, whatever microphone arm into this thing. But when, it, when I tried to screw it in, the little metal bit on the underside of the desk was actually hanging right on that little bezel. So there's a little bit sticking off there and it just, it's a little bit concerning, not a big deal, but it was just something I saw and I was like, oh, for certain types of mounts, you know, it might, if it's right on the edge of your desk where you're mounting to, it might not be enough of a lip to go ahead and really clamp down on it without uh, maybe breaking your gear. Now, that being my biggest gripe about this desk is that bezel, so you can't, you know, do the clampy bit, um, is the little actual display unit itself. Where they have pre-drilled uh, some holes for you that you can kind of screw into, where, where the actual unit sits, if I look down, I can't even see the remote. I have to lean back and then uh, yeah, hit the button, you know what I mean? So you, it's like, that part kind of sucks, not a big deal. I'm sure I could take this little bracket right here and just bend it upwards or just even screw it further out towards the edge. But from the predefined holes in which they told me to screw it into, uh, I can't see the thing. So when I'm sitting here, I got a feeling around and I can't really figure out which button I'm landing on. And I think one thing that they really could have done to really take this to the next level is each one of the little manual preset buttons you get, which is up to four, by the way. I wish each one of those had a little feel to it like you know something like braille like a little dot two dots three dots four dots and then an up and a down for uh some other sort of way an arrow facing up or something like that i don't know something that i can just go ahead and feel into my desk and be like okay yeah that's number four or that's number two or oh that's the manual button speaking of uh setting this whole thing up it's actually pretty easy once you plug it in do not start going into adjustment mode no 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 you got to hit the up and down hold that thing for a little while it ends up resetting itself it calibrates itself now you're ready to play. It, there's giant warnings. There's a giant warning on the inside of your thing that's gonna tell you, do it must read before first use. Desk must be initialized before your first use. Use high controller to initialize reset desk. So you gotta do it. All you gotta do, up, down, hit it at the same time, let it hold. You're gonna see a bunch of zeros are gonna blank and it's gonna self calibrate. And then at the end, it drops right back down in the middle. Now you're ready to go. Now to calibrate and set up your own manual settings, once you have it to a certain level, you hold manual, and you push a, num uh, a number one through four and just hold. You hold it for a couple seconds, boom, there's your manual button. Now all you gotta do is double tap that button. It's gonna predefine, go to that spot, you can walk away, or you could push and hold and it'll also go right to that same spot. So uh, I usually do the little double tap where I go tap, tap, 
And I walk away and I see my desk moving in the background. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that's it. Very happy with this desk, man. Apex desk. Thank you guys very much for going in and sending this on over to me. 650 bucks, accessories for everything else. They, they got deals and discounts. Go check out apexdesk.com. Again, I'm not sponsored to tell you this, so I'm not trying to sell this to you, but if you want to go check it out, check it out. I'll also post a little Amazon affiliate link down below, or you can get it from their website, whatever you want. You can support me with the Amazon link or not. It's up to you, man. It's a good desk. I'm very happy to have it, and uh, it's going to be my new desk moving forward in my uh, content creation lifestyle. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and give the thumbs up on the old video. I'll catch you on the next one. More key reviews coming down the pipeline. Take care. Have a good day. I'll... Uh, I'll catch you on the next one, all right?